Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, we are going to be making the tops, the long sleeve shirts I'll say, for our dolls. So these are these work up really quick and easy. Um, I do want to say that I am being a little quieter because uh, people are sleeping right now in my house and I can't, I have to film right now. <laughs> but, so what we have here is we have a shirt that I made out of variegated uh, scrap yarn. Then we have a solid one. Now these two are four weights. This is also a four weight. And then this one is a three weight with the four millimeter crochet hook. So it's a little looser. And then um, that's a four weight too. Yeah, this is a four weight. Now I made this for Matt's doll, but he doesn't like it. He said it's too girly. I, I don't know. Anyway, so in the tutorial, we're going to be making this blue one right here. But the way the pattern works is we work the top first, then we work, we actually work it like this. We work the top, then we work a few rows down, then we get our armholes, then we work the length of the shirt, so this part right here, and then uh, we fasten that off, and then we attach into the armhole for, and work stitches around there, and then we just work the length of the arm, and that's simple as that. Okay, so let's talk about what you're going to need. Now, depending on your tension, a four weight yarn with a four millimeter hook may be too tight. So if you tend to be a tight crocheter, I would go up to a five millimeter hook. Um, if you are a loose crocheter, stick with the four millimeter, try, you know, work a few rounds, at least go past the armholes. And then try it on your doll and see how that works. If you, uh, the armholes are round five. If you, if it's too loose on your doll, then I'd go down another crochet hook, okay? Okay, so you need your crochet hook. I'm, I used a four millimeter. And then you're going to need a needle to weave in your ends, scissors, and then any kind of scrap yarn. Like I said, I just, I just used what I had laying around. Uh, and I tend to... I tend to want to stay to the four millimeter, four millimeter, four weight yarn for these shirts, but you guys don't have to. You can try out whatever you have. Um, now, I also want to mention that I leave the back open and then I just use this very beginning tail and I, and that's how I just close the top up. I just tie it into a, like a little half knot. And then if I want to change it, all I got to do is just pull that out and take it off. But you guys can do a hook and eye closure like we did for the dress. You can just sew a button on there or just weave in this tail and leave it open. Totally up to you. You may want to make the make the top first, put it on your doll, and then see do you even need it to close? Because you know maybe it's lo the shirt is looser on your doll or you know what have you. Anyway, let's get our stuff together and get started. Okay, to get started with our shirt for a doll, we are going to get a chain of 29. So get your chain of 29 done and then come back here and we are going to start by working to uh, working a single crochet into the second chain from hook. Okay, so not the very first one, but that second one right there, we're going to single crochet into there. And then we're going to single crochet into each chain, into each um, remaining chain. I got tongue tied there for a minute. Okay, so go ahead and single crochet down your chain and I'll meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so I've made it across and I've got one more chain here that I need to single into. And that is the end of row one. So for row two, I'm just going to untangle this. If you guys can hear that, that is the wind blowing. It is very, very windy today. All right, so for row two, we're gonna chain one and turn. 
and into that very first single crochet, we're gonna work two single crochet. So we're gonna work a single crochet increase. And for the purposes of this pattern, we're just gonna call it an increase. So we're gonna increase into the very first single crochet. And we're gonna single crochet into the next two singles. Increase into the next. Single into the next two. And that's what we're gonna repeat across our chain. Increase. Single crochet into the next two. Increase, single crochet into the next two. Increase, single crochet into the next two. And I want you to repeat that all the way down and I will meet you when we get to the end over here, okay? So we'll be right back. Okay, I'm coming to the end. I have three single crochet left to work into. I just worked an increase, so it should be single, single, and then the very last single crochet of the row gets an increase. So single, single into the next, and then into the very last, we work an increase. All right, now that is the end of row two and you should notice that it wants to start to bow a little bit like that. So what this part is, is actually this part of our shirt. See how it's gonna bow like that? All right, so you guys can see what we're how it's gonna work up. All right, so that was the end of row two. So to move on to row three, we chain one and we turn. In row three, we're just gonna half double crochet into the very first single. And now we're just gonna half double crochet into each single crochet across our chain. All right, so you guys work that across. And I don't remember if I told you or not, but there should be 38 single crochets, or I mean, uh, half double crochets at the end of this row and 38 single crochets in the second row. Sorry if I forgot to say that. I don't remember if I did or not. All right, so I'm gonna get this done and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm coming to the end. I have two more single that I need to work a half double into. Get into that last one. Okay, so that was the end of row three and we're gonna move on to row four. So we chain one and turn. In row four, we're gonna start by single crocheting into that very first half double crochet. And then we're just gonna single crochet into each half double straight across. So it's pretty easy. All right, still should have 38. Stitches. Okay, so go ahead and work your single crochets all around and I'll meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of row four. I have two more half double crochets that I need to single crochet into. So I'm gonna get those done. All right, and you should still have uh, 38 single crochets, okay? Okay, so we just single crocheted into the last stitch of the row. And to move on to round five, we're gonna chain one and turn. And to start round five, row five, we're gonna single crochet into the very first single crochet and single crochet into the next five. So we'll have a total of six single crochet right here. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're going to come back down here and we're going to skip eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to grab that very next single crochet because we're going to single crochet right into that. And now we're going to single crochet into the next nine. So we should have a total of eight single, or I mean, uh, 10 single crochet right here. So we already have one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that should be 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come back down here. We're going to skip eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to grab that next stitch and I'm going to go right into it with the single. And now we should have five more to single crochet into for a total of six. One, two, three, So I was looking and I'm a stitch short and I came back and I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I went over too far. Pull that back out. Start that over again. Okay, so I got that fixed. So now I have six, Skip eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Skip eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. So skip eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Single crochet into the next one, two, three. Four, five, and six. There. Sorry about that, guys. I was off by one. All right, so to end round five, we are going to turn our back and forth piece into a round piece. And to do that, we are going to get your hook back on your loop and then bring that end all the way around. And we're going to slip stitch to that very first single crochet and chain one. Now we've locked it into a circle and this is going to be what's around our neck. And then this is our arm, the beginning of our armholes. So it's going to look like that. All right. All right. So we just finished round five. So round six, we are going to half double crochet into the very uh, same single crochet we slip stitched into. And half double into each single until we get to that chain. So half double crochet into each one. We got one more. Okay, so now we're to the chain and we're just going to work eight half double crochets into the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more is eight. And now we're gonna half double crochet across these 10 single and don't forget to get that very first one right there. Right in there. One, two, three, four. 
So go ahead and half double crochet across those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm coming across those 10 singles. I've got one more to half double into. And now we're back, or not we're back, we're to the next chain eight. So work your eight half double into there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, now we've got our sixth single that we're going to half double crochet into right here, but I want you to make sure you don't forget that very first one. It's a little wonky looking. Let's go right in there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so that's the end of round six. So now we just slip stitch to that first half double. And now we're gonna move on to round seven. So round seven, we just chain one and we're gonna half double crochet right back into that very first half double. And then half double crochet into each half double all the way around. And that's all we're gonna do for round seven. So go ahead and get yours done and I will meet you when I get to the end. I'll be right back. Okay, so I come back around. I've got one more to work into and that is the end of round seven. So we slip stitch to our first. Sometimes these first ones are a little tricky to get into. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat round seven for round eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So I want you to, all you're gonna do is just half double crochet all the way around, slip stitch to your first, chain one, start it over again. You can do that f uh, for five or six rounds depending on the length you want. I like the, I like the, uh, the 13th round gives it just a little bit extra length. I like that. So I'm gonna go 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And once I get those done, I'm gonna come back. All right, so go ahead and get yours done and come back. Okay, so I just came around to finish my 13th round. I'm gonna slip stitch to my first. Chain one, pull up the loop, and cut. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and weave in this tail. I'm gonna leave this tail. Um, and the reason I do, I I'm gonna leave this tail is because that's kind of what I use to close the hole in the back when it's on the doll. But you guys can add anything you want. A hook and eye closures or a button. It's just easier for me. <laughs> Let's just leave it. <laughs> Gonna run this tail through a couple stitches. Run it back through and cut. Okay. All right. So now. We got the main portion of our shirt done. This is the back, this is the front. What we're gonna do now is work our sleeves. And the sleeves are pretty easy, nothing to get too worked up about. We are going to start with a slip knot on our hook. Okay, sorry about that, I yawned. All right, with your back of your shirt facing you, we're gonna come right over and we're gonna attach into 
one side is going to go into the top with a slip stitch, chain one, and go right back in there. We're going to work a half double crochet decrease with the first part being right into the same stitch, the same area, right in here that we attached into, and then the second part is going to come right to the bottom. So I'm going to go in, pull up a loop, and now I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to come to the bottom, to the chain right here that's our arm, and go right in there, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all loops. And there's my half double crochet decrease. And I'm going to pull my tail just to tighten that up a bit. And now what we're going to do We're going to evenly space out six half double crochet across the bottom of our arm hole. So what we should be working our, through are the legs of the upside down stitches, the half doubles. So we need six. So I'm just going to go one, skip a few, two, do that over again, skip a few, three, four, five, and six. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to work a uh, half, double shape, half double crochet decrease with the first half being into the bottom, the chain right here. And then the second half is going to go into this very first single crochet right there. So I'm just going to yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into this first single crochet, pull up a loop, three, four, five loops, yarn over, pull through all five. And now I'm going to half double crochet all across right here. And we should be able to get eight half double crochet in there. I'm trying to get this tail through the there. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to go ahead and work one more into that last one for eight. Okay, so we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen stitches all around our armhole. Just like that. And at your armhole that you don't have to get those half double crochet decreases perfectly where I got them. I mean Wherever you can get them, it works just fine. Just as long as you can get 16 stitches. So it'll be 14 half doubles and then two half double crochet decreases, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch to that first decrease that we worked. And I'm going to pull this tail tight. One of my cats have the zoomies. All right. So that was round one of our arm. So for round two, we're gonna chain one and half double crochet right back into that stitch. And half double crochet into each half double and the decrease all the way around for 16 half double crochets. So the hardest part of the sleeve is done. It's just attaching. One more. I'm gonna make sure I still got 16. One, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Good deal. Okay, so to end round two, just slip stitch to that first double crochet. Or half double, I'm sorry. Slip stitch to that. Okay, so what we're going to repeat for row rounds three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are the same thing. Half double crochet all the way around, slip stitch to the first, chain one. Half double crochet all the way around, slip stitch to the first, chain one. Um, now you can stop on round eight. Just try it on your doll and see, can I do another round or is that long enough? It, I like the way the nine rounds, or not nine rounds, but the ninth round the length of the arm looks good on my doll. So I am going to go ahead and work rounds three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine off camera. And I will be right back to show you what we've got for our sleeve. So if it, it, the front of the shirt is facing us, this is the um, left sleeve. And then the back facing us. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> I'm trying to say say it the way I think it's going to be to you because right now this is actually the the left sleeve with the back and then the front facing me it's the right sleeve but I think it's reverse for you on camera. I don't I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to work those rounds of half doubles and I'll be right back. All right, I just worked the ninth round of my sleeve. So to finish it off, I'm going to slip stitch to the first half double chain one, pull up the loop, and cut. I'll weave in that end real quick. Now the tail from when we attach the yarn to start our sleeve, if you happen to notice that you have a hole or a gap either on the back or on the front, right at that seam somewhere, you can use that tail to sew that little seam, sh that little hole shut, and I will show you that as soon as we get this one weaved through some stitches. All that. Okay, so we'll come in here, and I'm just going to pop this out a little bit. And get that tail. So whichever side that your hole is on, like if it's on, if the hole is to the front of your shirt, I messed that up. All you'll have to do is just weave the tail to the front of the shirt, and then if it's in the back of the shirt, you just weave that closed. So I am going to see. I don't have a big one, but there's a little one right there. You can see that. I'm going to go ahead and close that one up. So I'm going to take my tail and just run it through some stitches till I get to the front of the shirt. And then I'm going to go straight across the hole. Ouch! Just poke myself. And then go back across it again. And one more time. Oh. Okay. Now that little hole that was kind of there is gone. All right, so now our last sleeve, or our second sleeve. So we're gonna get a slip knot on our hook. And we're gonna follow the same concept. Make sure the back of the shirt is facing you. It's just this time we start with the top of the sleeve hole instead of the bottom. So the top of the sleeve hole gets uh, eight half double and then the bottom is six. But we're gonna start just the same way we did I'm going to go into the farthest I can get on the chain side, start my half double crochet decrease, 
come straight across to this first stitch right there and work the second part of that half double crochet decrease then work my eight uh, half doubles across get to this side I'm gonna work my half double crochet decrease into the uh, last single crochet right there and then the second half I'm gonna go into the bottom of or go into the chain that's the bottom part of my armhole and then work half or six, uh, <clears throat> six half double crochet across slip stitch to my first so I've got 16 and if you have 15 that's all right all right so I'm gonna go right in there with a slip stitch chain one yarn over go right back in there for the first half of our half double decrease pull up a stitch yarn over go into that very first single crochet for the top portion of our armhole pull up a, a loop we've got three four five pull through all five and now I'm gonna work eight half double across the single crochets the top of the armhole so it's one two three four five six seven and eight and I'm gonna go right back into that same stitch I just worked for the first half of the decrease yarn over and I'm gonna come around the chain for the bottom portion of my armhole for the second part of the half double crochet decrease five loops on your hook yarn over pull through all five and now I'm gonna evenly space out six half doubles one two three four five and six one I'm gonna have to stretch over just a little bit it's a little farther away and I'm gonna slip stitch to that first half double crochet decrease and that is how we attach and you should have 16 stitches around so now you just repeat uh, two through if you did eight or if you did nine just working half double crochets into each half double all the way around so I am gonna let you finish that off camera and I will get mine done and I'll be right back okay so I'm coming to the end of the ninth round of my sleeve so now I've got one more to work into and then slip stitch to the very first chain one pull up a loop and fasten off and then weave in your ends just like the other sleeve which I've got an, another set of tails in there that I'll do off camera so you guys don't have to watch me weave in ends okay and now I'm gonna put it on Matt. He's topless. <laughs> Get in there. I didn't mean to do that. Pulled some of his stuffing out. Okay. Now adjust. And there we go. Yay! <laughs> he looks so cute and handsome. Okay, guys, so that is the shirt for our Amigurumi dolls. Just ignore my little tail there. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Um, I want to apologize for the last portion of it being a little on the quiet side. Um, other people were are sleeping right now, so I'm trying to film this. Anyway, thank you guys so very, 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 very much for watching. You guys are the greatest. You know you are. I tell you that every time. Uh, so, subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what I've got coming up next. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. 
and uh, check out the description box. There's links to my Facebook group, my Instagram, my Twitter, uh, all kinds of social media platforms. So whichever one you follow or you choose to use, I'm on that one. And then in the, also in the description box, I'm going to have a link to the other clothes that we've, we've made. So there's shoes, there's pants, there's a shirt, there is a dress, and I've got some more clothes that I've got in mind that I'd like to do. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!